All right, now we're going to be releasing our quadratus lumborum or our QL muscle, which is located in our lower back. So for this, we're going to need our block and our ball. So we're going to situate it so the block is going to come to our low back. We're going to lean back onto the lacrosse ball is going to go into our QL muscle. Now for some, this might be enough where you might need to just have a little bit less pressure. This might be good for you. Myself, I tend to go all the way down to the ground and I always keep my leg bent. I find when I go straight, I tense up my back a lot more. So I'm going to keep my leg bent and then you're going to situate the ball so it finds the top part of your hip here and you're going to take a nice deep breath in really sink into the ball and then you're going to move your body and you're going, I find it actually pretty easy if you're just gonna guide yourself with your leg and you're gonna roll onto your side and then back over and then roll onto the side gets nice and deep into the QL muscle and then going up the spine just a little hair and then same thing going on to the side and then back to the center finding those areas of tension once you find an area of tension you can also go back and forth or you can go up and down as well nice little increment movements make sure you're using your breath when doing this and then of course you want to work both sides of the QL so both sides sorry I mean both sides of the body, both QL muscles. All right, make sure you're using that breath. Go back and forth all along the QL muscle. All right. It works quite effective, and I wish you the best of luck.